Welcome back to the Music Nerd Dad Reacts channel. Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining me today. I'm going to be doing another Pentatonix reaction. Um, this is one that I haven't seen, and it's actually a follow-up. So if you haven't seen it already, you may want to go and look at, um, view the uh, reaction that I did for the Charlie Puth um, attention um, single. So. I went ahead and did a reaction to that, and now I'm doing a reaction to Pentatonix, their cover of it. So it's kind of a cool thing that I figured out I could do here to incorporate both sides of what you see on my channel there, right? Um, the the cool side, you know, if you will, with all the, the uh, um, you know, R&B, rock, pop, alternative artists there, and then the other side with the, more of the classical and acapella side. Uh, so I'm kind of involving both of them. So I'm going to try to do that when I can. Um, but this is a cool thing to be able to do. So um, I guess I might need these. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Again, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe down below and like, and then you can hear about more of my upcoming videos and reactions. Thank you. I love getting an opportunity to see um, Kevin and Matt in action here. Um, I mentioned in one of my other videos that, you know, Avi and Kevin really are like a machine, but Matt has really hit the ground running. And I, from what I understand, I believe Avi actually helped um, the group to, to pick Matt. I believe that's what happened. So he was involved with kind of handpicking the individual that would replace him. So knowing Avi and how much he loves these guys and the group and um, how much he wants them to succeed and you know genuinely cares about them, he would have picked someone that really could step in and, and do a great job. And, and Matt is doing that. I mean, he's he's in the groove with Kevin and, and I love hearing him, you know, sing some of the low stuff because I think it kind of helps people that are um, a little doubtful maybe about his ability to do the low stuff to kind of say, oh yeah, this this guy can, he can rumble, he can go down there. So that's good. And Mitch's mustache is awesome. He, he changes his look every video. It's, it's great. Yeah, I shot him on. It's awesome. But you're not coming home with me tonight. You just want attention. You don't want my heart. Maybe you just hate the thought of me with someone new. Yeah, you just want attention. That's cool. Yeah, I think I love to hear uh, Kirsty sing and and have her moments to shine because she she's very gifted. I mean, all of them can hold their own, and she's done some of this stuff on the side. I think someone in the comments the other day asked if I'd seen the um, the Disney Love Medley. So if yeah, if if anyone watching hasn't seen that uh, with Octave and. Uh, and Kirsten, go ahead, go check it out. She she does an amazing job with that, um, and it's a time for her to really show you know what she can do um, with a bunch of really incredible vocalists, right? I mean, Voktiv is they're amazing, but yeah. So I love to see her have her opportunities. But That was low. Run around, run around, run around, throwing that dirt all on my neck. Wow. 
his runs. You can see just the percussion and what they create with that. It's just, it's crazy. And I think someone mentioned it. I think it, maybe it was a judge on the sing-off or something that was talking about Avi, but it's general for all basses. And I've sung low bass before. When the, my first semester in this acapella choir I was a part of in college, they needed people to sing low bass. And so I sing low bass my, my first semester. And uh, it's hard. I mean to really get the air behind those low notes and to do what he's doing where you're just moving all over and you're staying with the beat and there's a staccato type action um, involved with what you're doing. I mean, you gotta really have control of your instrument and a lot of good breath support and, and ability to, to do that. So it's awesome. Go Mitch. That's cool. What sound is Kevin making? Now? <laughs> That's cool. Well, that was cool. What they did there. And that's, I talked to earlier about like, moving harmonies what they did there was that's hard because you're doing like all these different like it sounded it sounded almost like it was chromatic so it was like half steps coming down it's really hard to do that when you're harmonizing because you have to be exactly on the pitch because if one of you is off by just a little bit as you're coming down then that person is going to adjust to the next chromatic and they're going to be flat throughout the entire movement basically if yeah there's a chance of that so wow what are you mind blown yeah I, I nothing nothing against mr. Charlie Puth but wow just having listened to both of them side by side I mean and I have to be fair in my assessment as far as there might be some subject subjectiveness to my bias but I almost like their version better. I mean, it was just because of all of what they did with it, right? I mean, that's part of what they do, the magic of, of when they make a cover. They just are geniuses at arranging it and having everything, the ebbs and flows of how everything comes together. Is It's, it's brilliant the way they do it. I don't... I don't know how they're so talented at such a young age to be able to understand the nuances of music well enough to do what they do. I, it's similar to Dimash, right? It's like he's he's really young too and is, is brilliant for, for the, his tender young age. So, I mean, they're similar as far as understanding how to build and climax and transition between different parts and excuse me, and to add different flavors and, and beats and things like that into it. Um, yeah, so <laughs> both versions were amazing. Um, they're just different, right? But it was good to see them perform together and to see Matt. I've only seen, I think I've only seen two or three songs now with, with Matt. 
um, since he joined the group. So it's good to see another one. I've seen the new rules one. Someone asked about that. I did see that one. I saw the Grinch. And then I saw a sound of silence. I think those are the only ones I've seen, but um, with Matt in there. So if you have a suggestion for another one with Matt that you really love, uh, please put that in the comments. Um, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and click like and just so you can find out about more new pentatonics reactions coming up. Or uh, I'm also going to do some of the Kevin Lucilla. That is part of my plan. So those are coming too. So anyway, thank you for your support and take care.